Well, I think that wraps things up. There's nothing left to discuss here. I'll see you later, Karen. I'll catch you back at the office, Marcus. Fantastic, Angus. I can't wait. Hi, Ron. How's things? Pete, how are you? Good, good. Is, uh, is Sandra here to sign for this? No, uh, Sandra's done a runner. She's gone across to the opposition to World Laser, so, um, if you're lucky day, you've got to deal with me. <laughs> yeah, right. Listen, um, I hate to say this, but um, I'm not supposed to give you the order unless you've got a payment for me today. What? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Sorry, boss's orders. If you haven't got a check or something for me now, then I'm supposed to take the stuff back with me. Hey, this is a bit rich, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> if you don't deliver the stuff, we can't finish the job. We don't have that sort of cash in the office, and there's no one to sign a check, so... I'm really sorry, mate. Hey, Bob. Hi. It's Sunday. And you've been working all weekend again. How long can you keep this up? Oh, look, you know how things are at the moment, Sharina. Yeah, but never in my wildest dreams would I imagine that my husband would forget his own son's birthday. Oh, Travis, mate, look, I'm so... Why are you here? What's up? <laughs> Why are you here? What's up with you? You are what's up with me. I've done nothing. Yeah, exactly. What can you do? You know, I'm getting more than a little sick of these constant comparisons to Samuel. I mean, what did Samuel do that makes him so great? Samuel was, is great. He knew how this company worked. He could get stuff done, he could fix things. Can you do any of that? I can give it a go. Give it a go? Mate, this isn't work experience. This is our livelihood. Look, I did not volunteer to come here. I was asked. Yeah, not by me. Look, you may not like this, but I am here and it is not my fault this company is going down the toilet. Well, why don't you make yourself useful, read some instruction books, and learn! Because they are written in German and I can't read in German! You will need it tonight! Marcus! It's Karen. Sam didn't make it. Great to see you. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Oh, I'm so sorry, it's under these circumstances. Oh. So how's the little Ally coming along? Oh, she's just gorgeous, thanks, yeah. Kept me going through everything, actually. Well, look, I know you're all busy people and you've been through a lot, so we better get on with this meeting then. Now, I have all your business and personal claim payments here for you. I like to deliver them personally. I know it won't undo what has happened, but I'm sure it will make a huge difference to all your lives and the business too. Well, it might even make your bank manager smile. <laughs> I think I can confidently speak on behalf of all of us and I say we appreciate everything you've done for us over the last few weeks. I am so glad we took your advice. But it's the best money we've ever spent. Oh, yeah. look, I'm just so glad I could help. I mean, it certainly is better than when I get a call from someone when it's too late. I mean, all you have to do now is finish signing those papers and then just bank the check. Well, at least Ellie and I have peace of mind financially. You know, at least I don't have to worry about the roof over our heads or where an income's coming from. Mm. Same with us. We know our future, our employees' future and General Laser is secure. And it's important that Karen and Ellie's financial future is secure as well. I mean, you're part of our family. Oh. Look, I know it doesn't change things, but I think having a succession plan in place and the insurance to fund it, I mean, it to give you some options, as well as just some security and some breathing space. Yeah. Well, look, I don't mean to be rude, but I'd best head home to Ellie. My mum's looking after her today. Oh. Listen, just before you go, Karen, once you've paid off your debts, I think you should come back in and we can just talk about reinvestment. How about, um, I've got a slot 11am uh, on Friday, is that okay? Um, yep, that's okay. good. Fantastic. And Marcus and Sharina, while I've got you here, I would like to see you on Monday just to review your investment and insurance. Say about 10? No, that's good for me. You're preaching to the converted with us. Well, look, I'll let you go, and it was great to see you all again. Good.
Glad Thank I could you. help. Thank okay. you so much. You take care of yourself. Yeah, I'm Andrew Miles. I'm the Managing Director of General Laser. We've been in business for nearly seven years. We specialise in materials handling, materials cutting using laser technology. We cut mild steel, stainless steel, plastics uh, for a wide range of customers, manufacturing industry, the engineering industry, sheet metal workshops, signage companies. My reasons for assisting MLC with this DVD was that uh, early on in business I was given some advice from friends, close friends and uh, businessmen about the importance of insurance and if by allowing General Laser to be used uh, may help some other businessmen starting out in my situation um, to consider their insurance needs. The reason I sought advice to protect my business is that a lot goes into building a business uh, from scratch, from the financial outlay, the time and energy that you put in, and also the pride that you build up with the business, with your employees, with your customers, and I want to make sure that is protected if something were to happen. I think it's important to have a conversation with a business insurance expert because there's so much to insurance that the average person starting out in business isn't going to understand at all. You need to speak to someone who can look at your business and offer advice. Some of the risks that uh, my insurance advisor identified were protecting my family, um, protecting my employees, protecting the business that we'd built if something were to happen to myself being a key person, either I'm injured, having time off work, permanently disabled or worse if I was to die. I'd advise all other businesses to seek appropriate advice on insurance. Uh, it's a very specialised field. Um, that not everyone can readily understand. Uh, it's good to speak to someone that can explain uh, the implications and possible outcomes to you. Business owners should be reviewing their, their insurance policies, uh, especially when they're growing. When you're growing, things are changing. Um, you're relying more on other people. You'll be borrowing more money. Um, the structure may be changing with shareholders and who's involved in the business and in your own personal life. If you're going well, you're creating a, a life outside the business which also needs to be protected. Now, very recently I've reviewed uh, the insurance needs of General Laser with my MLC insurance advisor. Um, the business is growing, the structure is changing and uh, they've offered some advice which I'll be taking um, to ensure that the insurance is keeping up with the pace of General Laser's growth. I believe that insurance is a very necessary part of running a business. It's something which my parents told me about when I was 16 when I was bought my first car and it has stayed with me ever since. 
it's planning for the unknown. Um, we don't know, we plan for the best outcomes, but um, things happen. And having the appropriate insurance will help get you over those times. Having watched the, uh, the film, the DVD being created, um, alarmed me because I could associate with it. It's something which could happen in everyday life and it left the business in quite a predicament. That won't happen to General Laser. I have insurance in place, um, but it's, um, it's a bit of a warning to us all.